must be God and God alone that opens the heart and shows the man that he is hell bound. Now the Jews haven't any salvation at all unless Almighty God brings salvation to them. And there is only an elect remnant, the Pauls of this world, who preached to the Hebrews who were part of that elect remnant. It is not an elect remnant to come, but one that is continually being brought out. Even Paul said that to the Romans. Can't you see, says Paul, I am a Jew. But today, you say that to the end time prophets, that Paul was a Jew, and they say, oh, well, the remnant's still got to come. Wait, who, who was he preaching to? And who was Peter preaching to? The Jews. Well, how can they be saved if they are to come in some future time? They were the elect, the remnant. Elect of God, elected by grace. You know, when we come to faith, we come to the likes of Canaan. Did Moses go into Canaan? No, because the law is not allowed in Canaan. Is it? He had to die outside. Only Joseph was, was allowed in. Joshua, rather, was allowed in. And Joshua is our Christ. So Moses, the law, is excluded from the land of promise. The promised land, the holy land. That is above. That which is in Palestine isn't holy. It's godless. It's reserved unto wrath. The people that are unelect in that place are continually going to hell. So we have Joshua, our Jesus Christ, who leads the children of promise into the land that is Canaan without the law. And the law is weak, is it not? Hmm? The law couldn't have done that because it is weak. In that it is weak. Faith alone can only do that. And faith was given to every elect of child of God in the Old Testament who made up the first phase of the Church of Jesus Christ. The Church of Jesus Christ did not come in by Pentecost. That is neo-evangelicalism that says that the Church of Jesus Christ was created at Pentecost. That's a pack of lies, that's devilishness, that's of the Antichrist. The Church of Jesus Christ began in eternity. It came to be seen in time in the Old Testament through the Noahs and the Solomons and the King Davids and the Hannahs and the Naomis and the Isaiahs and the Elijahs and Elishas and the Abels, the Adam and the Eve and so on and so on and so forth. They made up the first building blocks of the Church of Jesus Christ and so it is when the Apostle Paul says it in these last days. Last days of what? The world, says the evangelicalism. Well, it would do because it's secular. Their voice is secular. We Christians say in these last days. That refers to the Church of Jesus Christ. The last phase, the last days of the Church of Jesus Christ. The Jews owned the external profession of the church and kingdom of God. Those two are joint. When Christ said, I would take the kingdom, of, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you, that is, the church shall be taken from you. And when Jesus Christ said in Matthew 16, 18, I will build my church, he meant exactly that, by faith. And he is doing so. You see... The Apostle Peter and the rest of the disciples and the Jews believe that the church, and they took it as being in being, that they were the church. They believed it and that it was being built up over the years. But Jesus Christ turned round to Peter and said, Flesh and blood have not revealed this unto thee, but my Father that is in heaven. And then 
Jesus Christ says, Upon this, note, note that, upon this, not upon Peter, upon this. What was this? It's his confession. He's turning away from Peter. But the church of Rome says, oh no, he's addressing Peter. No, he's not. Else he would have said, upon you, Peter, I will build my church. He doesn't. He says, upon this. Something entirely different. Upon this was faith. So Peter then knew that the church was going going to be built, continually being built, had not come to an end, but was to continue to be built upon faith, not upon works, as Jewry had taught, and that the kingdom of God should come over to the Gentiles openly. It was already there in the background. All the children of God were in the kingdom of God. Adam and Eve were in it. Every person that was regenerated in the Old Testament, that they were elect of God, were in the kingdom of God. Because they weren't in the kingdom of the devil. The world is in the kingdom of the devil, and the regenerates, the Noahs and the Isaiahs, etc., and the Pauls and the Timothys, were in the kingdom of God. And we rest in the kingdom of God. We have been translated from the kingdom of the devil to the kingdom of God. From condemnation to salvation, by an act of God, not by our, our own will. Every person is born by the will of God, seen in an act of God. Divine saving faith is given to man by a supernatural act of God. Otherwise the man dies. Now that's part one. 